Congratulations again on finishing your degree from Lehigh University. This video is specifically for master's level candidates of the classes of both 2020 and 2021. If you have not already done so, please watch the general video first as there is important information for everyone in that video. Remember, you should have your printed grad pass with you and do your Hawkwatch app that morning and please bring your phone with you. When you walk to the stadium from the parking area, which is down here on the left, guests will go through one of the two tents directly in front of the main stadium entrance. Graduates should immediately head over to the graduate check-in area as indicated by signs. One of the smaller tents will be for anyone with regalia issues. The other will be for anyone with grad pass or hawk watch problems. If you don't need to go through either of the smaller tents, proceed directly to the larger check-in tent where your hawk watch app will be checked. If orange, your temperature will be taken. If it's less than 100.0 degrees Fahrenheit, you can stay. You will be given a color-coded wristband if you can participate. Put it on. You can't enter the stadium without it, and it must be on your wrist. After check-in, move north along the road outside the stadium fence, past the other two tents, up to the parking area next to the stadium house and scoreboard. You can use the portable restrooms there if needed, and then enter the stadium through entrances on either side of the stadium house. Show your wristband and come onto the field. Students should be on the field at least 30 minutes prior to the ceremony time. As you walk from the entrance toward the seats, look for signs along the outer edges and along the center aisle for each row of seats. The seats are six feet apart in both directions. The colleges are in this order from the stage, College of Arts and Sciences, then the College of Business, the College of Education, and finally the Rawson College of Engineering and Applied Sciences. Please use your grad pass card to confirm your college and follow the signs on the field to sit in the appropriate section. This is also the order that graduates will be called to the stage. The doctoral level candidates with their faculty advisors will be seated in assigned seats starting in the first row of each college. They will have name cards taped to their seats. All other seats in that college section are for master's level graduates, including the first few rows without name cards taped to them. Note your row number and how many seats from the middle aisle so you can get back to your seat after walking across the stage. It is really important to count your seat number from the center aisle. You may certainly sit with your friends, but you must sit with the college marked on your grad pass card and in the rows allotted for master's level graduates in that college. There are not any extra seats. There is no distinction for the east and west sides of the seating. You may sit on either side provided you are seated in the rows for your college. If you are still outside the stadium when the processional is started, you will be escorted in after several minutes and seated by a faculty usher. Please don't be late. The start of the ceremony includes the processional of just the faculty and the presidential party. Students are not processing this year. Everyone should stand for the processional and remain standing for the national anthem. After the national anthem, there will be a few short speeches. The main part of the ceremony starts with the introduction of the College of Arts and Sciences Dean. The Dean will ask the doctoral level students to rise. Faculty ushers, in their distinctive gold caps, will lead the PhD candidates to the outside of their seats. So at the top, they come out, go down the seats, around the potted plant, and up to where the blue square is where a picture is taken with your mask on. And then they proceed over to the ramp to the thrust stage. Then the Dean will ask the master's level candidates to rise. The faculty ushers will ask the first row of master's graduates to follow them to the outside of their seats and take the same path. This may be immediately upon rising or it could take a few minutes. Remember your mask must be on all the time and please maintain six foot distances between you and the person in front of you. This is difficult. Be vigilant and remind others to maintain distances. At the base of the ramp, a person will be there to help if needed, but it is simple. When the person indicates it is okay, the first graduate places their grad pass QR code face up under the scanner. Move up the ramp to the thrust stage, and when your name is read over the loudspeaker, stand with your feet on either side of the front T with your toes at the crossbar that is on your side of the thrust stage. A picture will be taken here, again with your mask still on. Once the picture has been taken, move down the center ramp and through the center aisle to find your row and count your way back to your seat. Once you get back to your seat, sit down. Do not remain standing. All graduates are expected to remain on the field for the entire ceremony. 
The row numbers for the seats will be indicated along the inside aisle as well. The faculty ushers will release one row at a time. Please do not leave until the usher asks your row to start moving. The same procedure is repeated for the other colleges in the seating order, College of Business, College of Education, and finally the Rawson College of Engineering and Applied Sciences. Each college dean will be introduced and graduates in each college will follow the same procedures. The exercises will close with the alma mater. Following the alma mater, the recession will begin. The presidential party and faculty will leave the stage to the east and the faculty ushers will start then with the first row of the College of Arts and Sciences to the outside and follow them if they're on the east side of the field. If they're on the west side, they go out the other exit. All graduates must exit the stadium as part of the recessional and meet their families and friends outside the stadium. I recommend you set up a specific place to meet that is not too close to the stadium or the fences. Your vehicle is a viable option. This is an example of your hood. The velvet is to the outside and the silk will be toward the back. The rest of it that is pretty nondescript is what is against your back. Fold out the bottom part of the, the silk so you can see the chevron, which will be brown and white for Lehigh's hood. There is usually a string across the back, which allows your neck to go through and this helps keep it on your shoulders. Somebody else can put that on for you after you have put the hood on. There may be a string on the front of a point that points down your, your front, and that can be attached to a button or something underneath to help hold the hood and keep it from falling back against your neck. Remember the faculty ushers have these distinctive gold caps and they are there to help you. Please follow their directions or ask them for any help if you need it. Check the commencement website that morning in case of severe weather and a change in the time for the ceremony and for all other details. Remember that you should be wearing a mask all the time and maintain six foot distances from anyone who is not in your own party. Please remember to bring your printed grad pass do the Hawkwatch app that morning and have your phone with you when you check in. I hope everyone has a great time at your ceremony.